What's going on everybody? My name's Mike. And I'm Adrian. We get asked regularly how long our actuators last, and there isn't a short answer to that question as every application is gonna have a different effect on actuator life. It's possible to look at rated motor life, which is typically around 100 hours operating time for brushed DC motors but those numbers are taken under very specific conditions. Typically at peak efficiency or rated load, 20% duty cycle and 20 degrees Celsius in a clean room environment. As most people don't run their actuators in those specific conditions, it makes sense to test it in your application to figure out what type of life you're gonna see under your conditions. We do our own testing in-house and we do have rough numbers that we're willing to share upon request, but we don't generally advertise lifespan for actuators because there are so many variables that impact how long an actuator will last in your specific application. There are many factors that can affect the lifespan of an actuator. Duty cycle is one very important factor to consider due to the heat gain of the motor during operation. Duty cycle is key when it comes to determining how long an actuator is gonna last. All of our DC actuators are rated at 20% duty cycle, and running them above that is gonna result in more heat and lower life. Input voltage is also another factor that can affect the lifespan of an actuator. If you're over the rated voltage for a motor, it's gonna draw higher power and increase the heat gain of the motor. Another key factor that affects lifespan is the applied load to the actuator. This essentially correlates to the current draw of the motor. As an example of how load may affect the lifespan of an actuator, you can have a look at our data sheet and look at current to force curve and see that at certain loads, you're gonna draw more current and this is gonna produce more heat in the actuator and cause more wear on the internal brushes. So basically what we're talking about with these last few points is heat generation. Anything that causes additional heat is gonna reduce the life of a DC motor and subsequently an actuator. Higher than rated duty cycle, higher than rated voltage, uh, heavy loads are all going to be things that generate more heat in the motor and reduce the life of the actuator. Another important factor with lifespan is how the load is applied. If there is side loading within an application, we do have different types of actuators that would be better suited for that, like a track actuator. Another really important factor to consider is the environmental conditions that you're going to be using your actuator in. We test actuators indoors in a clean room, but not all applications are quite that straightforward. Often actuators are mounted outdoors. They're gonna be exposed to wind and sun, which can result in more heat, uh, humidity, salt water potentially, particulates, and all those things are gonna have an effect on how long the actuator is gonna last. So as we've discussed, every application is gonna be unique in the load, the voltage, the duty cycle, the environmental conditions. And for that reason, again, we do encourage clients to do their own life testing to assess how long an actuator is gonna last in your application. Now one question you might have is, how do you do life cycle testing? Well, I mean, the best way to do it within your application is whether it's a prototype or some subsystem, the best way to do it would be in the same environment and the same application settings that you're gonna have within your device. Now one easy way to conduct testing would be to apply a known load and use a timer relay to essentially run the actuator in and out at your specified duty cycle and loading. If you have questions about how to conduct lifespan testing, feel free to reach out to us and we can assist with how to best set up your test. If you want to test our products within your design to see if it's a good fit and how long the product's going to last in your specific application, reach out to us and we can talk you through how to take advantage of the development discount. We hope you learned a bit about what factors affect lifespan of actuators. Thanks for watching and we hope this video helped. Feel free to like and subscribe for more information on linear actuators.